Uh, right, <laughs> let's go back to the confusion and uh, the aggravation. First half, um, in the hurly-burly here of another set play, damn it. Why is this not a penalty? And we're not, we're not just saying today, but no, why, in why in general, as this happens, shirts have been pulled, people have been dragged back. Others are being pushed over. The, the simple answer is he, he hasn't seen it, I presume, because um, there's no doubt he's grabbed him and he's, he's hold it down. It's, um, if he's but seen there he is, look at this, there's Howard Webb there. How can he not see that? <laughs> if you see that, do you give a penalty? I think there everybody that sees it thinks it's a penalty, don't they? But um, it's amazing because this guy, it's not an unusual thing for him, is it? He's, you know... Look at John Terry as well. Week in, week out. Chunk of it, it's a shot. It's the same referee that gave that penalty at the European Championships, Austria, Poland, late on. Virtually the yeah, last but, incident. But do you know what happened after that? He got a lot in the of back credit of for doing no, so from got, people who watched the game. And then he got sent home. Well, not necessarily for that decision. No, but that was a decision. It wasn't yeah. the, 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 the UEFA officials didn't think highly of it. it was why right don't one. referees give more penalties in that situation and stop it? I think they want to be certain they are penalties. Well, but damn it. <laughs> How more certain can you be? Yeah, I'm certain. You're certain. We're, we're watching it. Do you not think, Dan, that, that we are in, we're seriously out in danger of, of, of you guys just turning a blind eye to it and saying, go on, get on with it? I mean, I can remember uh, when I played, and all right, that might be a lifetime ago. <laughs> But I had to come back and mark a guy every time there was yeah. a free kick at a corner. So, I, and I had to concentrate on where he was, where the ball was. I couldn't grab his shirt. I couldn't yeah. do anything because it was a penalty. Sure. What I'm saying is that why have we gone away from that? Why do we not insist that as a defender, you cannot, simply cannot, pull someone's shirt? If that was outside the box, there would be a free kick mm. every single time it happened. We all agree on that. We, well, why do, why, we, why we do we not do it then? I, I think the referees are working harder to um, identify things like that. I mean, last year there was more penalties given for that than any, any previous season in the Premier League. Something else you can do from set plays, when Andy played, head the back of the guy in front of you. <laughs> that was, was accidentally oh, I yeah. did that. Every week. Time. Accidentally. <laughs> oh, nice one, mate. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> right. Now, how many times, and you two had a conversation about this when we were at Hull mm. earlier in the season. Referee gives a decision. City break out of the wall, not once, but they break out twice and then a third time. Here's an answer to the problem of giving the free kick and getting the wall back from Argentina, where this is happening, and it's happening in Brazil as well. Have you seen this? No. Watch this, then. Is this a, a trial? This, no, this is happening. This is happening in the league. Yeah, now, there's there's a referee. Look, watch your referee, damn it. S little bit of paint. Yeah. There's a free kick. Put the ball yeah. there. Put the ball there. Yeah. Now, he marks it out. No confusion. There you go. There's the wall. Ten yards. What, what's he going to do right now? Is he going to spray where the wall is? He's going to spray a line where the wall is. There you go. And they can't go in front of it. So, they can't go in front of that. No confusion. We know where the ball is. No one can yeah. steal a few yards now with the ball. Keep your fancy boots out of the way. Slips back into a little container that they have there. Good thing about it is it's, it's an alcohol-based product that is gone within three minutes. So, if people who are wondering, won't we have white lines yeah, yeah. all over the pitch? Yeah. Happily, they wouldn't. But isn't that, a, 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 I was going to say, a gimmick? It's not a gimmick. Is it something that would help, do it's you brilliant. think? It's brilliant. Just something that's helped you guys and just say, mark the ball so no one can sneak it forward. Yeah, as you can see it. I think it's brilliant. I'm, I'm all for anything that's creative. I think, I think it's great. It's happening in the Argentinian second division. It's just been approved to be... Uh, but what, what I'm asking is, presumably the they're, they're trialling it for FIFA to see if well, it Well, FIFA have sanctioned it and said, yeah, do yeah. it. I think it's, it's, it's a great idea. I really like that. Take that back to you boys and let's see if we can get it something done for next year then. <laughs> I think that's it. And, and it does speed up the game, doesn't it? Free kick, put the ball down, wall. I mean, it takes forever otherwise, doesn't it? Here's an example from earlier today, look. Again, this is from the Wigan game earlier today. Trying to get the wall back. A little bit unsure, stay there. This took, run about a minute and a half, minute 45 down, to take this free kick from start mm. to finish to try and get it settled. Um, and I guess it would help everybody. You know, the, the mark, the way of, the kicker couldn't steal a few yards. As McAllister wall, did for Liverpool playing against Everton a number of years ago. Yeah, he remember? did as well, I remember that. But there he's trying to get them back again now. Yeah, the referee has to get them. That, Andre Mariner, I think this is. That's one of the things that becomes really frustrating, isn't it? You, you get it back, they come forward, you get it back again. And it, it almost becomes a battle of wills then. So, but it is a time element. If it's going to kill the time, I, I just think it's a really inventive idea. I think it's uh, do it. a great concept. Take that back, as Andy said. Um, Rafa Benitez this week. Um, got quite angry on Friday about referees, he said, fact, being influenced, he said, here, um, as they come off the pitch, uh, Manchester United coaching staff, too close. Uh, have you ever been affected 
half time by anything that anybody has said to you anywhere? Um, not in a professional matter. In local leagues, yeah, because you're at the mercy of um, <laughs> people on a Sunday morning. But in a professional match, no, because nine times out of ten, if the security see a problem, they come on and escort you off anyhow. Um, so, that, so it's not. I always think the referees at the professional level are far, far more secure than any referee at any other level, and that's why I think... Not worried about your security, Dan, more the fact you might be influenced by something somebody might say quietly. Well, well I don't think they can get to you. Um, you know, you're cordoned off, you're taken away. The referees stop behind, you know, and let people go now. Um, nobody's allowed in the dressing room at half-time, nobody can come into the dressing room until 30 minutes after. So you are very, very secure. Um, the influence, you know, people talk about really are crowds and such like, and it was quite perverse because um, in my day as a referee, Liverpool was one of them, they always said you never get a penalty in front <laughs> of the cop. Um, Unless you were wearing red. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you didn't give away to him a penalty in front of the cop. You know, I actually did once, but... <laughs> but uh, so the answer's no. no. I don't think you have time to think about it, do you? As a referee, you do things instinctively.